Fishery Resources in Kenya support over 200,000 people through direct employment and another 1 million people indirectly. Approximately 200,000 metric tons of fish and fishery products valued at about 6 billion Kenya shillings are produced per year. The fish is produced by over 40,000 mainly artisanal fishermen who operate about 11,000 fishing boats in both inland lakes and marine waters of the Indian Ocean. There are about 6,000 artisanal fishermen along the coast who catch 90% of the fish. The coastal residents eat fresh, fried, and traditionally cured fish like sardine, ray, shark, etc. Fish drying, frying, and smoking are traditional methods for curing fish. The main issues that face the traditional fish product industry are the availability and low quality of raw materials, the lack of appropriate infrastructure, education, standard processing methods, research and development, safety and hygiene, financial assistance, and marketing know-how. Sun drying is very common as a means of preservation. Nevertheless, the quality of the dried fish is poor and the drying process is slow. Bird, rodent, animal waste and dust contamination is common during processing, storage and marketing. It is labor intensive as fish must be brought in any time it rains. The product has limited market circulation and less consumer confidence. Improved fish drying methods are less labor intensive, are more hygienic, use renewable energy, dry fish for a shorter time because of higher drying temperatures, insect infestation, contamination by dust, rodents, etc. are avoided as drying is enclosed. Fish dries to a lower moisture content, hence longer storage time. Better quality fish is produced with wider market of acceptability, boosting consumer confidence. The method conserves the environment, biodiversity, and improves food security in line with the fisheries policy, Millennium Development Goals, and Vision 2030. The following is the process line for solar dried marine fish. The process line is inspection and purchasing, sorting, gutting, washing, drying, storage, and finally cooking. Inspection and purchasing. Inspect the fresh fish before purchasing and select only wholesome fish free from contamination and detectable spoilage. If drying may be delayed, transfer the fish into insulated containers or any clean suitable container and use ice to keep the fish fresh. Alternatively, cover the fish with wet cloth in a shade. Sorting and icing. Sort the fish into similar sizes as much as possible. Transfer the fish into containers such as basins, buckets, wooden vats, etc., and then ice where and when necessary. Gutting. Immediately gut the fish depending on the size. Remove the gills and scales. Dry the smaller fish like sardines whole. Cut thick and larger fish like shark and tuna into strips or rectangular blocks of about 1 inch or 25 millimeters thick.
washing. Use fresh water, sea water, or chlorinated water to wash the fish thoroughly in order to remove bacteria, backbone blood, and black lining of the body cavity. Drying without salting. Transfer the fish after dripping into the dryer or drying rack, then leave to dry. Preparations for drying with light salt. Put fish in salt solution for half an hour just to test. Then transfer to the drip, then to the dryer or drying rack to dry. Drying with heavy salting. This is useful when drying is delayed or excess fish is landed. Use 1 kg of salt to 10 kg of fish. Lay fish in a clean container, which can be a bucket, plastic basin or wooden vat, such that the fish lies on a layer of salt at the bottom and alternates with a final layer at the top. Arrange the fish by alternating heads and tails. Scatter a bit of salt between the layers of fish. Pile the fish with flesh side up except for the last layer. Pile the last layer with the skin side up and cover with salt. Cover the top of the container. Take the fish out of salt when ready to start drying. This can be the following day. Wash the fish thoroughly to remove the excess salt. Place the fish skin side down on drying trays. Let the trays be at an angle in a breezy, shady place to drip for between half an hour to one hour and transfer to the dryer or drying rack to dry. Drying. Transfer the drying trays with fish onto the drying cabinet of the solar dryer. Turn the fish three to four times for the first two days. Interchange positioning of the fish to ensure adequate heat penetration. Continue drying till ready. This can be three to four days if fish is one inch or 25 millimeters thick. Small fish like sardines will take one day on a sunny day. To know when the drying process is adequate, press the thickest part of the fish between the thumb and the forefinger. If no impression can be made, the fish is sufficiently dry. Transfer the fish to rectangular open plastic boxes to cool for 2 to 3 hours. Cooking The fish can be cooked with normal ingredients if not from heavily salted lot. If heavily salted, place the fish in fresh water for a minimum of 12 hours. Change the water three to four times. Drain the water, then cook or stew with normal ingredients. Storage. Leave the fish in the open plastic milk boxes and store in airy places or store fish in waxed cartons and enclosed with moisture scavengers available in the market. Or wrap the fish in waxed paper, pack in thin wooden box tightly covered and store in a cool dry place. Waste disposal. Transfer the waste in leak proof containers Empty in a pit and bury to not only preserve the environment but also to provide compost.